Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you to the beginning of the end of the rest of our lives in Pikmin 2. Here we are in the Dream Den, the final, final cavern in this entire game, the one where we shall meet our fate. And I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm going into this completely cold. I have not practiced this since I played it in preparation for beating this game. There's only been a couple months granted, but still, that is a cheap placement of that guy. We actually don't need to even kill him. So, hope you guys are ready to enjoy because, well, we've got ourselves another long dungeon ahead of us. And it's going to be fun business dealing with that. You can't get me because you're terrible. And I'm going to murder you guys. You bit into me. Don't appreciate it. So, um, I'm probably going to be much more liberal with all of my sprays. Dude, can you not? Okay. Can you... The dumbest red flower of all time. So let's go and uh, let's go and get rid of our whites here to get rid of this nice little poison generator, and have ourselves a good time. Is there another just spotted jelly float? Of course there is. Of course there is. All right, you know what's happening then? You know what's happening? Screw you! We're we're going for it. All right, let's go. Death, death to everything. Come on, let's let's make this the wonderful 101 to remember. See, look at this. It literally is the wonderful 101. Actually, you can't really tell there. I was editing the other footage, and I was like, man, it really looks like that game. Like, I've been thinking of LP in that. It just says, like, the LP to help me, like, test things out. But, like, it's like, go, uh, whatever, wonderful sword or whatever. And then everyone's going to die. And I got a, this guy going to be an asshole. And there we go. And did anybody die? Good. Because if you did, you're a dummy. Do I have any whites? We do. He's, he's no longer flowered, though. Actually, while we're still here, well, we don't need to worry about them. I was going to say they'll probably get in the way, but, eh. So let's go collect this lovely kiwi here. Not a huge fan of kiwi, but there it is. And I think the UPC for that is like 4043 or something. I don't know. It's pathetic that I actually know, like, <laughs> a lot of them. I used to have a lot more memorized, and these guys are still on that. Did I use another bitter spray and not realize it? Or are they just glitched like that? Because that'd be amazing. I only used one. Unless, okay, they're good now. All right, let's get get that that darn poison generator out of the way. And hope none of our Pikmin die in the process. I think a lot of them actually got denectored though, deflowered. So nice little kiwi here. Not a huge fan. And is the disguise delicacy? <laughs> More like the disgusting delicacy. Just kidding. All right. Um, can you guys please thank you go into formation so I don't throw any of the wrong colors in. Because that has a tendency to happen. Just in general. God, I can't believe the whole of Heroes took five videos. Like, granted, each video is like 13 minutes long, so it's a little bit shorter than I'm used to. But, man, really? I don't know. But with that, 114th of the Dream Den is now completed. Hooray. And let's see what we have for the second. Oh, God. So just based off of that very unfortunate placement of a tower slash conveniently placed vantage point and this giant ass barricade, I think we have something that I'm not looking forward to. We have a shit ton of snow bull borbs and a gatling groin just chilling up there. Like a straight up villain. It's not very kind of him to do. I'm gonna go take out this guy first though, just so that he's not being discriminatory. Speaking of not being discriminatory, come this way, purples. Um, now I think the game would probably suggest can you not be idiots thank you I think the game would like you to use one of your captains to go run around and killing these snowball wars with your brand bare hands or use the Gatling growing you know projectiles to do such a deed but I think we're gonna do something a little bit differently I'm gonna take a leaf out of Nintendo's handbook on how to kill things 101 and uh, it's gonna be amazing we're not gonna discriminate today we will ourselves be the wonderful one double O featuring Olimar and the president of Hogatate Freight beautiful you are all amazing and we can just do this do like our amazing what was it called I can't even remember like the sword thing it's like I'm gonna use the sword I'm gonna use the fist like was it wonderful sword or it's like Ragnarok or something weird so you guys can do this there we go although as much as I'd like to denounce segregation in, in the Pikmin ranks, I think it is probably important that we just take yellows with us. So uh, you guys can go over here, and wow, you guys are insane. Alright, let's take you guys. Whites, really whites, go. 
Uh, way. There we go. Now this is going to be a little irritating because we actually have to climb up on that side of him. And it's not fun because our Pikmin like to freak out a lot, so you can do that. And let's go over here and start tossing up. Wow, that is not anywhere near where I wanted to go. Thanks, game. Look it. We're going to lose because of Pikmin throwing in this game. I swear to God. Am I going to have to use another one? Because I can't hit them from down here. Let's try this. Can, can this work? I don't think that's working. It's killing our Pikmin. Didn't kill our Pikmin. What is going on? What is going on? Um. Um. Okay, just look at my look at my Pikmin. Just look at them go. They're trying to bring back treasure like they're cute. I'm missing some. Stop that. Stop picking things up. <sighs> See, I don't get this. Do I need to like lure them up to that little? That platform is way too small for any of my Pikmin. I'm just gonna use another fucking spray. Like, screw it. There. And I keep. Mm. All right, follow me up here. And now let's. Can we try it without people falling off, please? Thank you. Thank you for the love of God. That took an unnecessary, ungodly amount of time. You are the greatest Pikmin to have ever graced our faces. I really want to know. I want to see somebody do that, actually. It's been a while since I've seen an LP of this. I've only seen, what, not even two, like one and a half even. And that's like across three different people. And it's like, ugh. I want to see how they did that, if they even got to this point. <sighs> but we got ourselves a nice little double sharpened pencil as Nintendo 64 on it. Holy shit, I would have bought the hell out of that. The Emblement of Toil. That was unreal. That was that was the worst display. Look at look at my goddamn Wii remote. See, you get there are so many benefits to having to being able to aim at anything on screen and the manual owner. The manual owner. <laughs> Man, I, when it comes to like precision, like look at, it's gonna go right over right here. Let's try this. But then they fall up. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm done with this place. I ain't gonna deal with that gallon groink. He can go. He can go fist himself for all I care. I thought he'd be able to reach. Huh? Man, this is this is actually turning into a little bit of a train wreck of of the this video already. I mean, not even ten minutes in, and we're already having a significant amount of trouble. Now, let's see. That is evil. Why would you put those so close to each other? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, do as you say, game. Actually, technically, I could just get rid of uh, the generators first. But the thing that's going to suck is that the whites will just go straight for the electric generators right afterwards. So, you guys take this out as fast as you can. I'll whistle for you. Ugh. There we go. No, the whites can start taking care of... Actually, you know what? I need to double check something. I need to take a very special individual. General White, you're coming with me. Oh my god, look at that! Evil! But if this is what I think it is, it's not gonna be good. So, when you get near the treasure gauge, this is indeed the one. Uh, you get near the treasure gauge with the Pikmin, and you have a spotty bull bear fall off from above! But, you know what, he's a dummy, because sometimes he'll just fall off the... Or he'll just climb over mid-air things. Can you kill these guys? So, he'll fall off the edge. These dummies will follow me. He'll drop the treasure he was holding. And there can be a genocide of literally everything. Whoop. Don't want to don't hurt Olimar and his lovely skin here. Hey, right over here. I heard you guys like to eat some bomb rocks. I know your emperor does. So why don't you? Right here. Let's see if we can get all four of you. Right here. Four. Or just one. Or two. Three. Ooh, baby. Yeah, see, you don't be don't be dummies. Don't be discriminating against bomb rocks. Just because you think it's silly doesn't mean they're bad. These guys are really obsessed with me. Okay, everything is fine over here as far as I know. So maybe we'll just take some whites and take take that relic back. I was holding that A button really hard. <laughs> just like ooh. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Be a little careful though, because this stupid spotty bull bear is gonna be. A pain. A pain in the glutton. No, you don't. Right here. Right here. I heard I heard you like explosions, so here. I bought you an explosion so that you could die with it. There you go. These guys, don't take a convoluted route back home, please. 
I appreciate it. Please don't, please don't. Okay, I don't trust them taking it. Somewhere where they won't die. Holy mother of God. This is literally another minefield. All right, go, go. You have enough. And they're good. They're home free, let's go. You guys are, you're whites. You deserve to live. Live and love. Is there another one over there? If there is, I'm gonna be so sad. There totally is. There totally is, I bet. All right. Well, if they all really wanted to join in that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. We got ourselves, ooh, is this a GameCube one or a, a Wii one? It's the Glee Spinner, like a like a nunchuck. I think it's the GameCube one, actually, because this predates that game. <gasps> is that it? <gasps> it is, oh, beautiful. Oh, this had the potential to be such a jerkish floor, and even though it was, as we pass through the many dead carcasses of <laughs> the bulb orbs that we didn't kill. That actually was not too bad, and there's still a Pikmin in my control. Don't be a dummy and die, please. That would be ideal. <laughs> uh. So judging on how much of an asshole sub-level 3 has a tendency to be, and the fact that it wasn't too bad there... Game! Oh my god, I can't... Mm. I was just gonna say, maybe this game is trying to be nice to me, because based on sub-level 3, it looked like it was about to do that, but I don't think that's the case, because this is horrible. I completely forgot about this dungeon layout. It's basically the same as Louis' suicide mission, however, this time, we've got a shit ton of armored cannon beetle larvae, and, you know, we have them literally, literally coming up the literal ass and proverbial ass. Don't ask me if that makes any sense, because it probably does not. But luckily we can use each other. We can use them to kill each other. But I mean, look at and we've got anode beetles of every other orifice that you could think of. It is not, it is not nice. This is mean. This is rude. I'm not gonna invite him over for dinner any, ever again. Like, this is the, ouch, that was the worst. We got anode beetles, I am not looking forward to this. And oh my God. Okay, so the exit is over here, and of course, of course they would put that right there. They would put the only treasure right there, and while it might be a decent idea to maybe, like, just run over with some white Pikmin, because we have generators here too, I probably wouldn't recommend it, unless they were, like, supercharged. Oh, this is going to take a long time. Christ almighty, you guys are assholes.